What's up, YouTube? So, should you buy the A7S III? Ooh, the king of low light. 4K, 60, 4K, 120, 10-bit, 422, yada, 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 yada. Or should you buy the A7C, which is what we're recording on right now, and save yourself, save yourself a ton of money? Well, let's put it up to the test. Let's see what both of these cameras look like head to head. What is exactly cinematic look? Like, what do you consider cinematic look? Like, do you want, you know, some dark colors, some gloomy, you want to see no band, no banding in the in the background, as you can see here. Uh, normally, if you try to stretch the colors out too much, then you see some banding right here on the separation between the crease and the wall, or over here in the corner. That's why I have that light there, so you can see if you can see the banding there, but it depends on how far you stretch it, and how far do you need to stretch it. Obviously, 10-bit does give you more flexibility, but is it worth, you know, the extra $1,500? Well, no, I think it's $1,800, $1,800. Honestly, my biggest, um, the biggest reason why I have the A7S III is for 4K60. I don't really shoot 4K 120 at all. It's usually 4K 60. And 4K 60 is probably the only that and the fact that this had the flippy screen on it when this came out was the reason why I got this camera. But lately, <laughs> I've been using the A7 SC that I, that was my like fourth camera that I bought. No, third or fourth. I started off with Sony with the APCs and then I moved to the A7 to the A7 III and then I bought this camera here, the A7C. Went back to the A7 III because I wanted the viewfinder and then ended up back with the A7C again because the autofocus is it's pretty good on this camera. It's actually really good. So do you really need the 10 bit? I mean it depends on what you're doing. If you're shooting weddings and commercial work where they need you to expand the colors to, to you know some crazy thing like that cinematic dark RNG teal color thing then maybe but I mean you can still pull it off with 8-bit to be honest I mean like I said I'm shooting everything right now on the A7 uh, C honestly I I shoot this in HLG and I set all the settings in the camera so when I put it in post, all I do is like a S curve to give it some contrast, and that's about it. I don't add any colors at all. I usually just leave it how it is. Um, unless, like, I'm making it more of like a dark, moodier mood, but most of the time I'm shooting everything in HLG. I, get, I feel like you get the best, um, you get the best uh, video quality at night, and then you get like happy medium during the day. So, uh, S log two and S log three, they're great for you know for for getting the dynamic range during the day when it's like sunny. You still need ND filters, so uh, you get that really high dynamic range. But I mean, HLG is almost almost up to par with with S log two and three. It's like right there, like right underneath for a couple stops. But I think it still looks good. Uh, enough talking though. I'm gonna pop on the A7S3. You tell me if it looks any different or if you like it. What 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 looks different? Let me know. I'm gonna 